Oh, don't mind me. I'm just eating a Milky Way in my kitchen between both of my ovens. Don't mind me. <laughs> you got it right, baby. This is the house right here. Let's get into this tour. Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, I'm gonna to be touring this Oakwood Homes. Now this is the Supreme. It's a modular home. It's a little over 1,800 square feet. I'll give you the ex exact specifications when I get back on the inside. I'm just so floored at how beautiful this home is. Look at all the windows. You've got all of these windows across the front and all of them have a transom window. Think of how bright and airy and spacious this house is gonna be for your, you and your family for years to come. I can not walk around to the back. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Hey family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the dealer or manufacturer of this home. I tour these homes because I love touring these homes. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specification, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so this is what you see when you enter this home absolutely beautiful so beautiful so i'm gonna spin around this is the front door so when you come in you have this cubby hole here for whatever you want it to be you can have a lamp here you could have decor here this is like your entry table you've got a built-in entry table here okay so we can either go to the left or the right. To the left of the front door is your dining room. This is a lot of space for a dining room, you guys. All these big, beautiful windows with your long transom window up top. This is a big table here. So imagine how much more you could do with this space. It doesn't have a buffet in it. It doesn't have any other furniture but this table. So you absolutely could have as much dining room decor as you would like. Also, it doesn't have to be a dining room. If you don't have the need for an eat-in dining room in your space or if that's not you, this can make a great office area. Like this is a nice space over here for your dining room. Really lovely. Really lovely. Again, you have this, you have this uh, wall here that serves as your entry table on one side, but also you have a coat closet here. So right here you have a coat closet and this is a nice division between the living room and the dining room. All right, so again, this is your dining room space, really nice. And then to the right of the front door is your living room. Not a really large living room, but it's really adequate. So this would be perfect for, this is a three bedroom, two bath. I feel like this space is perfect for the size and for all of the comforts that you have in this home. This space is absolutely perfect. Really nice. You've got a sectional in here. You've got two end tables and a coffee table. You also have this console table. A nice size TV could go above it. Like this room is perfect. This room is perfect. Not to mention the beautiful light oak flooring. Really nice. Really nice. On over to the kitchen. This is my dream kitchen. <laughs> This is my dream kitchen. Look at this kitchen, you guys. Like, does it get any better than this? This is my dream kitchen. Okay? So, I don't know where to start. You got this huge island. It has four of the bigger bar stools at it. Like, these aren't the little... 
narrow bar stools. This is a, a nice size regular chair bar stool. You've got four of them here. This island has a, a huge industrial sink in it and you still have lots of space for people to eat, do homework, uh, just hang out. Really nice. In the island, you've got five cabinet drawers in your island, okay? Including the dishwasher. Like, it is a lot of space. And look at this sink. Like, this is your sous chef's drain. You have your drain here to put your vegetables on after you cut it or your dishes as you're washing them. Like, you have so many layers to the sink that you could work with. You've got a built-in, you've got a cutting board, just all of these layers to your sink. You can put your washed vegetables in here. They could drain through there. You can cut them up on here, wash them, put them in there. They can drain down to the sink. When you get through with your knives and things, you can lay them on here. Like there's just so much space. You could do so much. That sink makes you want to cook. Love the pendant lighting. Almost looks like chandeliers. Really love, lovely. Now, on either side of the island, you've got these, the, these, this built-in shelving. Lots of space for whatever you desire. You've got all of your outlets here. Love the frosted glass above it. Then you have even more cabinets up top for additional storage. Really lovely. And you have it not only on this side, but you have it on this side as well. Exact same way. Okay. So look at all the storage space that you have in here. Beautiful. Love the backsplash. This is really pretty. Really pretty. It goes perfect with the colors. I love the gray that they use in here really lovely so to the left you have this huge refrigerator okay it looks it reminds you of the sub-zero refrigerator this refrigerator what more could you need you've got all of this pantry space around the refrigerator really lovely and then you've got this long counter here that you can cook to your heart's content. You've got two ovens. You've got pot drawers on either side of the oven. Three large windows. And look at this beautiful four burner cooktop. Really lovely. All Whirlpool pool appliances. Really nice. That's good stuff right there. I'm sure it's not connected, but I wanted to see if it had an air fryer. Really nice. Pot drawers aren't wide, but they're enough because you got them on either side. Really lovely. And then you got your built-in microwave on this side and more storage. So lovely. I'm gonna step back again and let you pan. Again, you've got all of this cabinet space and built uh, cabinet and counter space over here. You've got lots of pantry space around the refrigerator, two ovens, cooktop stove, built-in microwave, more cabinet space over here, and this huge island. Like, this kitchen is a dream. <clears throat> you guys, I hope I've done this, the tour of this kitchen justice. I was really overwhelmed um just how nice it is like i absolutely love it i'm looking at all the space between the kitchen 
and the island. I'm looking at how well laid out. It's like somebody really thought about what a wife would want in her dream home. This is beautiful. I love it. So let's go on with the tour. This, this video is going to be 30 minutes long. So past the refrigerator, you have number one, with all the pantry space, you have, you still have a pantry in here. Now this is a barn door, okay? And behind this barn door, you've got a really nice pantry. Lots of space in this pantry. You could even bring the shelving around this way if it's not enough, but this is a huge pantry. Look at this pantry. Now that's behind the barn door, okay? Really lovely. If you don't care for the barn door, maybe you could talk to them about any modifications. Really, the builder would be the one to answer that question. But really nice. Across from the pantry, you've got some hooks here. This will serve as your mud room. Everybody coming from school can hang, um, or your company that comes over can hang their coats and purses here. So you've got a built-in mud room across from the pantry. Again, this is down the hall right off from the dining room remember you have a coat closet here but if you're using that for storage or if if it's just the kids coming in from school or if you just want to I, I see flowers and sun hats and decor wreaths and just it depends on you right okay so back past the pantry to the left of the refrigerator or past the refrigerator, if you're coming from the kitchen, past the refrigerator is the laundry room. Huge laundry room. You've got upper and lower cabinets. You've got a really nice sink. You got a window that opens your back doors in here. Your washer and dryer goes there. And then you've got all of the storage space. I would put toilet paper, paper towels. Oh my. It's fooled me so this is all one door you guys so coming in from the back door you've got the store this uh which you could still use for storage if you wanted to put shelves in it but here's another coat closet <sighs> i'm so confused <laughs> you've got a rod here and then you've got a coat closet here like, you got so much space in this house, you guys. Huge, huge laundry room. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Let me turn around and give you another look. All of that is your laundry. Really nice. So we're going to come back through the kitchen and the living room, and we're going to go check out the additional bedrooms. Now, we're going to start at the bathroom. The bathroom is here. This is your... Uh, secondary bathroom. You've got your sink here with a large uh, window, excuse me, mirror. You've got your tub and toilet and your bathroom back in this part. And you've got this large window that opens. So that's really lovely. But you've also got like a linen closet, right? Where you could keep ex all the towels and sheets and all of it, those things for this side of the house. So really lovely. I'll walk over here and let you see, really nice. So all of this is your additional bathroom, beautiful. All of that is your additional bathroom, very good. Now, to the right of this bathroom, you've got bedroom number one, right here. Nice size bedroom. It doesn't have a light in here, so I hope you can see it clearly, but all of this is bedroom, okay? All of this is bedroom. You've got your closet over there, but I wanted to draw attention. If you can even see it, I can't see it. Here it is on camera. Your attic is in this room. So you have an attic. Again, this is a modular home. You have attic space and it's in this bedroom, okay? So... Here's your closet. So we got a nice size closet and this is bedroom number one. All 
All right, so that's bedroom number one next to the bathroom. And then next to bedroom number one is bedroom number two. Now this is facing the front, so it's bringing in a lot of light. And it's got these two large windows with a transom window on top. Really lovely. So all of this is bedroom number two. And that is your closet. Okay. Bedroom number two. So again, this is a three bedroom, two bath. Really lovely. I'll spin around and let you see again. You've got your second bathroom and then your two bedrooms over here off the living room. Okay. Now, on the opposite side of the house, past the dining room, is your master. So we'll go take a look at the master. So here's your master. Nice size master. It's your master here. Now in this master, you've got your closet space is in the master and not in the bathroom. So behind the door is the door to the master closet. Really nice use of space in here with the upper and lower shelving. You've got, let me open it to be clear <laughs> again. Personally, that's what I would do. Really nice. So this is the master closet. All right. And then next to the master closet is the master bath. Look at this beautiful master. The frosted glass continues on. So does the additional cabinet space up above. You've got three shelves in here that are frosted glass. I can't even, can I? I did. And then you've got additional space up there. Really nice. Soft clothes, look at there. I love soft, is this soft clothes too? Soft clothes, love it. You see it closing? Bam. <laughs> I love it. So you've got three frosted glass windows and then three additional cabinets on the top. And then you've got all of this drawer and cabinet space on the bottom. This is a huge counter space, you guys. Huge counter space. So you've got lots of space to share. Uh, your toilet is at the end of the of the counter the sink and then you've got this huge huge shower here really lovely love how they incorporated that glass tile in with the regular tile really lovely you've got two shower heads in here especially love the one in the ceiling and you've got all of this space in here this is a twin bed this space is the size of a twin bed Look at this. You don't even, I mean, you notice the bench. You're like, oh, wow, I got a bench. But it's just like, this is a two-person shower. Like, I would really be talking to the builder about, well, I guess you don't need two shower heads because two people can still shower in here with all the sh shower heads that they got. But I'm saying, why not have a shower head here? and have one over there is all I'm saying. I don't know how likely it is, but it would be nice. So lovely. Love this tile. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. Now, what I did notice was that there is lighter oak throughout the house, but in here, there's a darker floor and it actually matches this space pretty well. So I also like the space behind the door because 
you've got this window here, but you've got hooks for your towels and you could put a bench in here, a makeup table, um, more storage, like whatever you need to put in here, you've got this additional space in your bathroom that you could do whatever you choose to do it with. Really lovely. So nice. This house, I can't even say this master, like it's not just the master, you guys. This house, this, this house. If we were in the market for a new house, this would be the one. This would be the one. This is beautiful. All right. So again, this is the Supreme three bedroom, two bath. It has 1,895 square feet. Um, and this house's base price is two fifty seven. 088. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I certainly enjoy touring this home. I don't feel like I did it justice because it overwhelmed me, but I hope you got the sense of how beautiful this home was. So thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. I'll see you in the next video.